Okay, so I just got a batch of these EBL nickel metal hydride AA batteries. They're rated at 2500 milliamp hour and they cost about $17. I got them on eBay for 10 of them, including shipping and tax. It comes in a nice little plastic case like this. So I got my charger discharger to run a little test on the capacity of the EBL battery and I got one any loop battery here this is a 1900 milliamp hour and this is a Duracell and this is rated for 2000 milliamp hour so okay so for the first one here, this is the Any Loop, checked out at 1918. And the resistance of the battery is 52 milliohm. And I did the test on a current of 500 milliamp hour for charging and discharging. So this comes as no surprise, 1900 milliamp hour and comes out the result 1918 so for the Duracell here amp or 2000 milliamp and the result is 1460 milliamp hour although I have to say that with the Duracell this has been I, I've used it many many times uh, went through many cycles so anyway it's 1460 and the battery resistance is now uh, 52 milliohm. Okay, now uh, for the EBL rated 2500 milliamp, and let's see. So checked out as 2186 milliamp hour, and the resistance is 41 milliohm, and. Um, yeah, not quite 2500. It discharged it down to 1 volt. So, not exactly 2500. I'm not sure how EBO, how low it discharged the battery up to. And I put in two actually for this one here. This one is actually a little bit higher. 2222 milliamp hour and that's at the end of the test now it's still charging the battery back up and this one has a slightly lower resistance 36 milliohm so it's not bad uh, for dollar seventy a piece and the cycle is not as much as the any loop. Any loop is like 2000 cycles and this is just 1200 cycle. But I kind of doubt that I would be using these battery running through them 1200 cycles. This one I've ran maybe like 10 cycles, this one many cycles but way under way under 50 for sure and these two are brand new so the two EBLs are similar in capacity just uh, 2186 and this one is 2222 they are also self or low discharge meaning it will keep 75% of its capacity after three years I think any loop is something is similar. It, it is low self discharge, and this is uh, the EBL is again for low drain devices like clocks and um, maybe like radios. They do sell a higher drain type uh, of cells, but those are probably 
has a higher rate of discharge, which is not suitable for like uh, clocks and, and such uh, devices. So I did the test on this Lito Kala Engineer 500. And I also use this to check out one of the EBLs 18650. All right, so that's a quick test. Uh, I think this is good value for the money.